on stage at last Saturday's SAG Awards, a Devil Wears Prada reunion. SAG nominee Emily Blunt, alongside Prada alums Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway, delighting the crowd with classic lines from the 2006 comedy. By all means, move at a glacial pace. You know, you know how that thrills me. Plenty of thrills these days for the British-born audience favorite. Her first Oscar nomination ever comes for her supporting role in Oppenheimer, biopic of the man who built the first atomic bomb. It's happening, isn't it? Emily Blunt giving a note-perfect performance as Oppie's brilliant, troubled wife, Kitty, forced to endure the indignities of a mid-century marriage. Blunt coining a memorable phrase to sum up her character's dilemma. Going to waste at the ironing board. What do you kind of mean by that? Well, I just think she was a woman who was meant for vast intellectual pursuits and I think had to contort herself to being a housewife. That brilliant brain went to waste in domesticity and she probably simmered away with frustration in the loneliness of Los Alamos. There's no kitchen. You're the first woman to be nominated as an actor in a Christopher Nolan film. Is that true? It all began when writer-director Nolan invited Blunt to his home for a pressure-packed first read of his then top-secret Oppenheimer script. He's sort of lurking in the next room, and I was like, I'm going to have to put together something very smart to say about this script. <laughs> but it was So he literally racing. hands it to you, He right? hands it to you. I read it in his library. It was the most heart-stopping, exhilarating script. I think Oppenheimer is maybe one of Chris's most emotional movies. You don't commit to sin, and then I was all feel sorry for you that it had consequences. And it almost read like a chase thriller, and I knew what was going to happen, but you still are fascinated with how they got there. I'd never read a script like that. Time on the Oppenheimer set with Killian Murphy meant getting used to Christopher Nolan's use of IMAX cameras. Which are loud, They're aren't like they? Chewbacca coming through the room. They're so loud. <laughs> I think when you put the IMAX camera on Killian's face and use his face as a landscape, as you normally would a landscape, you can't rip your eyes away from him because you just see every nuance, every ripple. At Nolan's direction, Blunt's character would cause a few additional ripples in Killian's face. You're under a rock with Killian yeah. in an important scene and... <laughs> in life. <laughs> and you're fighting. And Christopher Nolan gives you a direction. Slap him. Yeah. He'll be fine, he said. And he was fine, but I was gonna sort of fake hit him. And Chris said, just hit him. <laughs> so, so I did. How many times? Several. I think I left a mark on him by the end of it. But he was brave. Killian's a tough cookie. Kitty's cookie crumbles more than once in Oppenheimer, beset by alcohol and her husband's remoteness. Yet when he's under siege, she revives on his behalf with all of her brain power engaged. On screen, it's one more vivid example of Emily Blunt's remarkable talent. You sit there, day after day, letting them pick our lives to pieces. Why won't you fight? She's sort of the most honest person, really, and, and she's right. They kind of were a great team. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.